It's only when we begin to do that and remove the ad hominem attacks, calling entire people groups a stereotype of being intellectually lazy and stuff, that is not going to help. What's really going on here is that the atheist is too lazy to either look at the arguments that Christians make, or they're trying to propagate, through propaganda, the idea that Christians don't have reasons, because these broad propaganda-style sweeping stereotypes are always true. Calling entire people groups a stereotype of being intellectually lazy and stuff, that is not going to help the arguments, or they're racist, or they're just sweeping propaganda-style stereotypes. Um, which, of course, doesn't surprise me as a Christian. Um, atheism is a vacant, utterly vacuous uh, belief system. I don't know. Makes me question your integrity. Who should I trust, after all? A guy who makes YouTube videos that are obviously fallacious with bad arguments, with genetic fallacies, with racism, with bigotry, with propaganda? Or should I believe we are all one? Huh. Sort of new agey. Tastes a little bit of uh, sweeping propaganda-style stereotypes. That is not going to help the arguments, it's not going to help the community here on YouTube, or anything like that. If we're all one, why don't we all get along and just come to the table with our minds, not our emotions. And he ends with, we are all one. Huh, sort of new agey. Tastes a little bit of, uh, a little bit of pantheism, maybe panentheism. Anyways, another piece of nonsense. Um, if we're all one, why do I disagree with you so vehemently? Now, I promise in this video to give you guys nothing but the facts. If we're all one, why don't we all get along? If we're all one, why do I disagree with you so vehemently? So I find that highly ironic.